Hello everyone, I hope you are doing good and staying safe. I welcome you all to this interesting tutorial on SQL delete statement by Simply Code. In today's session, we'll discuss about SQL delete statement and various statements related to it. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe to our channel Simply Code to stay updated with all the latest tech content and hit that bell icon to never miss an update from us. So without any further ado, let us dive straight into today's topic. Firstly, let us discuss the agenda for today's session. We'll start the tutorial by understanding what SQL delete statement is, and then we'll understand the syntax of SQL delete statement. And finally, we'll look at some SQL delete statements and execute them in MySQL Workbench. So, what is SQL delete statement? SQL delete statement is one of the data manipulation command DML that is used to remove rows from a table. That means you will able to delete the existing records from the table. Now you can either delete a single row, multiple rows or values from the existing table depending on the condition that is specified. That means delete statement with where condition is used to delete the rows that satisfies the condition with where clause and the remaining rows are not changed. Also delete statement without where condition is used to delete all the rows from the table. Let us now understand the syntax of SQL delete statement. The syntax is followed as delete from table name where condition. Here where condition is optional. That means you can either use it or you cannot use it. So let us take an example. Let's say if I want to delete uh, the details of the employee from the employee table whose employee ID is 101. So for that the following syntax would be delete from employee where employee id equals to 101. Now if you execute this query it will delete the details of that employee who is having employee id as 101. In this way you can use delete statement to delete one or more rows from the existing table. Now that we've got an idea on what SQL delete is, let us jump directly into the MySQL workbench and uh, get into the execution part. As you can see, MySQL Workbench has started and on the left side you can view the various tables that are present in our uh, database simply code. So let us consider uh, employee table first as an example table to frame SQL queries to perform various operations using the delete statement. Firstly, uh, so let me display the uh, values that are present in the uh, employee table. For that I'm using the select statement, select star from the table that is employee. So let me just execute this statement. So it will display the records of all the employees, uh, their employee ID, employee name, age, destination, date of birth, city and salary. So firstly, uh, let us see how to delete a single row from the given existing table. For that, let me take an example. Let's say if I want to delete one of the employee details uh, from the employee table whose uh, employee ID is let's say 108. For that, the following query would be delete from table name that is employee where specify the condition employee id equals to 107. So let us execute this statement and see the output. So our query has been successfully uh, executed. Uh, let me use the select statement to display the records and see whether or not uh, our record is deleted or not. So as you can clearly see uh, 107 uh, record of the employee is uh, missing from the table that means we have successfully deleted the record of that employee who is having employee id 107. Let us now understand how to delete multiple rows from the existing table. Before that uh, let me uh, display the total number of records present in the table so that we will have a clear idea on how many uh, records have been deleted after executing the query. For that I am using a count statement select count use the star operator from the table that is employee. So we have total 14 records in the table. So let us now execute this statement. Uh, for that we will uh, take an example. Let's say if I want to delete multiple employee details from the uh, employee table whose designation is let's say business analyst. So for that the following query would be delete from table that is employee where designation 
equals to business analyst. So let us execute this statement and see the output. So as you can see, our query has been successfully uh, executed. Let us again use the uh, count statement to see the values that are deleted. So as you can see, the total uh, count of the employees in the table has been changed to 11. That means there are a total of three employees whose uh, designation is business analyst. And since we have specified the condition where we want to delete only those uh, records from the table whose designation is business analyst. So in this way, you can uh, delete multiple rows by using the where condition statement. Now, similarly, you can delete multiple records from the table using multiple conditions as well. This can be done using various operators like and, or, between, etc. So let us take an example for that. Uh, suppose, let's say if I want to delete the employee details uh, from the employee table, uh, whose designation is, let's say, data analyst, and uh, their salary is less than 30,000 by using OR operator. For that, the following query would be delete from table that is employee, specify the condition where designation equals to data analyst OR their salary is less than 30,000. So let us execute this statement now. So our query has been successfully executed and uh, let us see the output. For that, I'm using the select count statement as well again. So as you can see, only one record has been deleted from the table. That means there's only a record uh, of the employee whose designation is either data analyst or their salary is less than 30,000. So in this way, you can use uh, multiple conditions to delete the records from table as well. Let us now take another scenario. Let's say if I want to delete uh, multiple employee details from the employee table whose salary is in between, uh, let's say 30,000 and 45,000. For that, I'll use the between operator and the following query would be delete from the table employee where salary between is the operator that we have to use 30,000 and 45,000. So let us execute this statement and see the output. So our query has been successfully uh, executed. Uh, let me use the count statement to display the number of records now. So as you can see, previously we had uh, 10 records in the table. Now it has been changed to four. That means a total of six records has been deleted from the table, wherein uh, the uh, salary of the employees uh, ranging between 30,000 and 45,000. So in this way, you can use the uh, delete statement to delete multiple records from the table by specifying the multiple conditions. Now we have seen how to delete a single record or multiple uh, records or even multiple records using multiple conditions in the existing table. Sometimes uh, there might be a requirement to delete the entire table data uh, to free up the memory or to allocate new data into the table. For that, uh, we use the delete statement to delete the uh, whole record from the table as well. For that, executing delete statement without the where clause uh, deletes the entire table data. So make sure you're careful while using the delete statement because you'll end up uh, deleting the whole table if you're using a without where clause. Let's say if I want to delete the remaining records of the table from the employee table, I'll simply uh, write the query as delete from table that is employee. So let me execute this statement and see the output. Our query has been successfully uh, executed. So let me just uh, display the records uh, in the table for that I'll use the select statement. So as you can see only the columns are being present but the records that were present in these columns have been completely deleted uh, using the delete statement. So in this way you can delete uh, all the records from the table without specifying the condition using the where clause. And with that we have come to the end of today's session.
that was all about the SQL delete statement. I hope you found this tutorial uh, informative and useful. Thank you for watching the video guys. If you have any further queries regarding any of the topics that uh, were covered in this uh, session, feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries. Until next time, stay safe and keep coding.